Orb and Joel Rosario take the lead with a 16th of a mile to go in the Kentucky Derby. Orb is out in front. Java's War is absolutely flying. In fact, it's Golden Soul, but it is Orb to win the Derby. Orb winning the 2013 Kentucky Derby. He pulled the Fountain of Youth Kentucky Derby double. Can someone do it this year? Maybe. Greatest Honor took a lot of money in the Kentucky Derby future pool, and he's likely to be the favorite here in the Fountain of Youth. He's my pick as well. Scott, what do you think? I think he's the most likely winner, Ed, but uh, I think there might be an opportunity to beat him, even though I think he is the likeliest horse in the race, pretty significantly to win the Kentucky Derby. A slight bit of concern that he's going to take a little bit of a step backwards. He ran a real big number no matter what you look at. Uh, for uh, a three-year-old early in the campaign, 103 on our Brisnet speed ratings. Hmm. And uh, that was a significant step forward. He ran a 97 against Maidens, though. I try, tend to look at the numbers with class as well. But uh, I think Greatest Honor has a ton of talent. I just think he's going to be over bet here. I'm going back to the well. I like Prime Factor the last time at even money. He was underwhelming. But I'm going to give him a mulligan. It was his first time going two turns after beating just Maidens in his career effort. Pletcher wheels him back into this race. He could have maybe taken it off, gone a lighter route, maybe an N1X, or maybe you know geared him up for uh, the Florida Derby. But bringing him back here suggests he's doing well. I'm going to hope that he runs a heck of a lot better than last time. Yeah, I think he's going to have to. Uh, this is a line in the sand race for me in terms of greatest honor. Uh, I already have him in my top three. So uh, like you agree that he's probably the most likely Kentucky Derby candidate of the Fountain of Youth field. But uh, it seems to me if he runs back to that Holy Bull triple, triple digit person at speed rating fast on the sheets, he's going to be one of the top three choices for the Derby pending what happens with the central quality. And we'll talk about that race in a separate video, but uh, I could even see greatest honor maybe being the favorite depending on what life is good does uh, next out. Uh, but that was an eye opener in the Holy bull. He'll need to repeat it to maintain that level of aura in terms of the Derby. And uh, I think he will. So uh, at nine to five, that will get that price. Uh, but I would play him at three to two or better. Any of the uh, long shots catch your eye in here? Yeah, real quick, I know we kind of disagree in this when we talk about these Derby prospects. I think he can take a little bit of a step backwards as long as it's not too much of a regress to set him up better for the Kentucky Derby and maybe Florida Derby. I know you like to sure. see them continuously improve, but yeah, the price just too short. I mean, I think you got to talk about drain the clock as a little bit of a wild card it remains to be seen uh, by McLean's music if he's a two-turn horse, but it has been dazzling for us after Joseph junior and does have some pedigree on the bottom side to make you believe that he could at least get the mile on a 16th. So I think he's a bit of a wild card. Papa two to me, a long shot to consider just underneath. I think this one had a little bit of a tricky inside trip moves towards the outside should do him well and has run well at Gulfstream in three of the four tries. And uh, it sounds like we're both willing to fade the Breeders' Cup juvenile turf winner. Yeah, fire it, Will. I'm still pissed about him beating me that day. I mean, granted, it was 30 to 1. I should have used. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this looks like a turf horse to me. You know, does have that win in the slop. But I'm always willing for the first time for turf horses moving over to the dirt, especially at this level, to let them beat me, especially, Ed, when they're 7 to 2 on the line. You as well. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to see him take that kind of money because that would uh, maybe make Greatest Honor worth playing. Last one I'll mention, So So Subtle. Uh, because he did get that uh, triple digit late pace rating that I've mentioned a few times, including with greatest honor going into the Holy bull. And uh, it's a pretty quick uh, way to come home. Now we do say it was a slow pace, so he should have come home quick and he is stretching out to a mile on the 16th here is two turn debut, but 20 to one on the morning line, maybe the one to spice things up underneath, but I'm squarely in greatest honors camp. Yeah. Well, it sounds like if you're using greatest honor as a key horse and finding some value underneath will be key. And there's certainly, you should definitely get it from that Florida bred son of Spitzer. All right. Uh, well, that's the fountain. Youth. should be a good one. Definitely as a major Kentucky Derby implications in my mind. Can't wait to see how it shakes out. Good luck.